It's one business sector that has been thriving in the pandemic and has the makers of the most popular gaming consoles rushing their latest offerings to market. Globally, the gaming industry was stagnant last year, but the outbreak of coronavirus means the industry in South Korea and the rest of the world has seen big growth. From Sony, there's the new PlayStation 5. We have the power brand of PlayStation, one of the world's biggest gaming ecosystems, and an established user community. Going head-to-head -head with Microsoft's latest Xbox system. It, like all gaming systems here, benefiting from South Korea's super-fast 5G mobile internet network, enabling ever more immersive play. In the past, people had to download, install and then play a game. Going forward, we will be playing games by streaming them online. The professional gaming of esports has also grown during the pandemic, helping confirm South Korea's position as a world leader. There are bigger sponsorship deals and developing technology offers the expanding online audience a richer experience. For South Korea, it's all much more than just video games. It represents a part of its economic future as it charts a path focused on digital content. Gaming joins K-pop, dramas and movies as the country's growing export of soft power. If, for the last half a century, manufacturing has helped our economy to flourish, cultural content will be the country's power of development for the next 100 years. South Korea has seemingly embarked on a quest for digital supremacy, now with the new devices to help it. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Seoul.